in our lifetime, at least for once, we all have wished to just pass an exam and clear that 33% border. Many of us have even failed one or few exams by just one or two marks and have cursed our teachers for not giving some grace marks. And I can bet many of us would have definitely begged for those grace marks as well. But have you ever wondered why all the schools and colleges have the 33% passing criteria? What makes 33 so special? Why not 32, 34, 35 or even 50? 50 would have been more logical, right? Hello and welcome to our channel. Today, the UP board announced the results for class 10 board exams and other boards such as the CBSC, ICSC would announce the results in the coming days. So today, let's find out how this passing criteria of 33% got included in our education system and why it is still being followed. Exams were not the same before the arrival of the British in the Indian subcontinent. Earlier, the education system in India or Bharat was focused on practical education. But after the arrival of the British, the education system shifted to more of a memorization-centric system. Under this newly established education system, the first matriculation exam was held in India in 1858. When anything new is introduced into an already established system, certain difficulties always follow. The introduction of these exams posed difficulty for the invigilators. They were clouded with many questions. What should be the qualifying criteria? How should the passing marks be decided? The Britishers looked down upon Indians and regarded them to be much lower in intelligence and hence kept the passing marks at 32.5, half of what the passing marks were for the British students. This colonial setup continued post-independence. Later in 1861, this 32.5% was rounded off to 33% to make calculations easier. Since then, no one ever questioned or made any attempt to change it. After independence, the Government of India established the University Grants Commission or the UGC in 1953 to oversee higher education and promote the development of universities. As part of this reform, the government sought to standardize the education system and introduced a grading system for evaluating students' academic performances. Initially, the government proposed a 50% passing marks requirement for students to pass an exam. However, educators and education experts expressed concern that such a high standard could lead to a significant number of students failing and not progressing to higher levels of education. After consulting with experts and stakeholders in the education sector, the government eventually decided to lower the passing mark to 33%. This decision was made to ensure that a greater number of students could pass and continue their education and to encourage students to learn the entire course material rather than memorizing just a few key topics. The 33% passing marks criteria soon became the standard practice in the Indian education system and it is still used today by many educational boards and universities. However, it has also been subject to criticism over the years with some arguing that it lowers the standards of education and does not adequately prepare students for higher education or the workforce. India has one of the lowest passing marks in the entire world. While the minimum qualifying percentage in schools in India is considered very low, this stands completely opposite in the higher education system in India. The cut for entering any decent college under Delhi University is 95% to 100%. The groundwork for future vocational and academic training is done at the school level. If we as a country let our children sleepwalk through that period, their later life experience of getting an expert will be riddled with failure and hopelessness. Despite this criticism, the 33% passing marks criteria still remains an integral part of the Indian education system and continues to be used as a benchmark for students' academic performance. However, with gradual development and overall uplifting of the Indian society, the education system is deemed to change in the near future. This was all for this video. If you like the information, do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel in depth.